right, mister. Tell me what's going on. You've been wound up since we left the hospital. What is it? Oh, um... I don't know if I'm that... I found out something today that I thought was true. And it turns out it's not. Why do I feel like this? Something involves Kara. Okay, well, <clears throat> here goes. All this time, I thought Griffin broke up my marriage with Kara. But he, he did. You saw her leave with him. Well, that's what she led me to believe. I don't understand. Well, Ted did some digging around. And it turns out that Griffin and Kara were never lovers at all. What are they? They're brother and sister. Griffin is Kara's brother. That's right. Well, I guess she didn't come here to reunite with him. And there's something else you should know. Kara pitched me really, really hard to join Doctors Without Borders again. But I let her know that there's nothing in this world that would take me away from my life here. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be all so she's gone? She didn't get what she came for. She's probably on a plane right now. <sighs> would be a blast. Breakfast for dinner. Huh? That'd be fun. What? I just... I'm glad that Kara is on the next flight out of town, but... I don't think that that means that we should pretend that you didn't just find out what you just found out. Honey, it doesn't matter anymore. How could it not? I mean, you spent years thinking that the woman that you loved, that you were married to, dumped you for another guy, and now after all this time, you are finding out that's Babe, not the case. Whether it's another guy or it's whatever her reason is, doesn't matter. She walked away from the relationship. And you don't want to know why? I know why. She said that she married too young. She said that she wanted out of the marriage, and she called her big brother because... She wanted to get away from the whole big mess, and she did it the way that she did it because she didn't want me chasing after her. And would you have? I mean, if she had told you the whole truth, right. would you have just let her go? Can we just drop it? Because I'd love to have a beautiful dinner with my wife. And I gotta get back to the hospital. I just... I just don't want you to bury this. There's nothing to bury. Maybe it's gonna be Christmas, right? Christmas, I'd like it to be magical and beautiful. I'd like to make it that way for my wife and son. Is that all right? You already have. The doctors, more than any other, is this hospital. I just don't think working here would be a very good idea. I was stating a fact. I wasn't offering you a job. Jake is not just a colleague. He's one of my dearest friends. And I need doctors who are focused, who can be here around the clock if they have to. You still whining about being understaffed? Can't you pull somebody off? The... You didn't leave. I wanted to. Trust me. Well, I don't. I don't blame you for not believing me, but it's the truth. There's all this red tape, and basically, I can't get on the plane. So. Well, how long will that be? They don't have an answer. You're not going to stay here, are you? I'm, I'm not sure. I... You know, you're welcome to call and verify if you don't believe me. Oh, it's not necessary. Sorry if this makes things awkward. Hey, it's a free country. You could live wherever you want. Doesn't. I just was curious why I came in here. You were talking about a shortage of doctors at this particular hospital. I was talking about it. Kara said she wanted work outside this hospital. Hmm even though it would be better for the hospital if she was here? I was actually tagging along with my brother. I, I wasn't looking for a job here. And I didn't offer her one. Hey, it's... Everybody's bending over backwards here to make sure I'm not... Well, that I'm not uncomfortable. And the fact is that's what's making me uncomfortable. We have a shortage of doctors, so it's crazy if we're acting as if it wouldn't be better for the hospital. It... Just give her a job if you want to give her a job. Jake, you don't have to do this. What am I doing? I, it's not up to me. I don't. It's not my call who gets hired or doesn't get hired around here. All right. 
What about you? Uh, uh, if, if Jake doesn't have a problem with me being here, I, I would be stupid to turn down work. Andrew, so. I don't care what you do. It's not, it's not my problem. Well, the minute it becomes one for either of you, I want to know about it. I think that we need to get down to HR before they break for lunch. Uh, yes, please, tell me the room number. Sometimes, <laughs> you really surprise me. Sometimes I surprise myself. Why do I feel like everybody's looking at me? Are they? Well, maybe it's because I just gave Angie permission to hire my ex-wife, and I didn't even ask for the permission of my current wife. Oh, my God, I just called you my current wife. I'm sorry, that's horrible. Can you stop me, please, anytime? I think when you find yourself on a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. I wasn't gonna say anything. You know what? It's like you said, it is a free country, and Kara can work wherever she wants. She can. She is. And we're all okay with it, right? Are we okay with it? You remember our vows? I love you. I trust you, and every day I'm struck by how much I admire you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you later yep, at home, okay? Absolutely. Not. Congratulations are in order. Oh. Wow. I hope this doesn't make things too uncomfortable for you. Everyone's so worried about how I'm taking this, but I'm fine. I mean, there's not a lot I could do even if I wasn't, right? I guess. Which is why we should make the most of the time that you are here. We? Well, you know, we didn't get off on the right note, really, at the beginning, and it doesn't mean that we can't turn things around. And how do we do that? What would you say to a girl's lunch? Seriously? Why not? I mean, we have a lot in common. I could get your number from Griffin and call you later to firm things up. OK. All right, great. Uh, I'll see you then. OK, see you then. Paging Dr. Pataglia, call extension 198. Dr. Pataglia, extension 198. Okay, spill it. What? The real reason you practically insisted that Angie hire Kara? No, I just thought uh, it would be better if Kara were here. As opposed to? Someplace less safe. Huh. Well, now you make it sound like you, uh, you want to keep an eye on her. In which case, you're very lucky you've got an understanding wife. And a smoking hot ex wife. You could have said no. Angie never would have okayed the hire. Really? What's the matter? You think when it comes to your sister, I've got a hidden agenda? Do you? Listen, pal, I was a very happy man before your sister showed up. Before so you met her. How are you gonna be when you're working alongside her? You don't have to worry about me. 